It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Seahawks and the reigning Super Bowl champs on Thursday night primetime. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. The wait is finally over. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. is out there needing a stop on first and goal. Mike 35, Mike 35. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A pretty big early test for the defense coming up. What can they dial up here to try and thwart this third down situation? Yeah, this pass broke it up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board. Very this defense backed up now as they're looking at a first and goal just inside the 10. Gets him back at the 14. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, that'll be caught by Rodgers. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Seahawks have picked it up. There he goes left side. Pass the 20. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. So here's the situation upcoming. Second quarter, third down, and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt. Prescott. 
They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Carry by Elliott. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. But Jordan Brooks on the tackle. And Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives, and I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back, and now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys who have to play for them, the next man up mentality kicks in, and those guys take care of business. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that will knot us up at 10. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. On third and goal, Wilson. And he's got it. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Here we go on fourth down, and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. This defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big boxes, Time to jump into the action, and we have a red zone alert as this defense looks to stop a first and 10 at the 15-yard line. On first and 10, Prescott to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Cowboys on third down. 
They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one. And that one falls incomplete. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. And his kick is indeed good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. No problems in the field goal department. Just above one minute remaining here in the second quarter. This offense looking to get down at least into field goal range, but they're starting on their own side of the field. Now Wilson on first down. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Dancing to his left. Finds a seam inside the 40. And smartly going into the slide there, Wilson has enough for the first. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. The 40, 20, 10. And this is going to be brought back for a final return touchdown by the Cowboys. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason. Time to jump back in. Opening drive, third quarter. And this offense has it in the red zone, first and ten. Hands it off out of the gun. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. 52 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. And he'll give it here to his running back. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Forcing the incomplete pass on fourth down, and then roughing the pass. Your offense is ready to roll, ready to get out on the field and take over. Instead, self-inflicted, now they have to stay on the field and play. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. A great play there. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And Brand
Okay, now the field goal unit out on the field as they look to extend this third quarter lead. Butker's kick here is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you... A touchdown and an extra point would tie this game late. What can this defense do now that their opponents are in the red zone? They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Rob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. So he is able to turn that into positive yardage, but I think it's fair to say that those are not the shots you're wanting your quarterback to have to absorb. And he has to know sometimes when to say when. You have to know when to give yourself up, and let's face it, not easy for these guys to do because they're competitors as well. But sometimes you do learn your lesson the hard way, as he did there. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Elliott will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Big old line of the playmakers to take control of this game as we get down toward the end. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Second and ten. Here's Wilson. He's going to get this underneath to Dallas. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Let's go. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Take the lead here in the late going. 
And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. DJ Dallas, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Prescott. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Dak. Into the hands of Cooper, and he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And he's taken down inside the red zone past the Seattle 15. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. They'll set up the screen to Dallas. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Wilson. Sliding out of the pocket. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. Well, he reminded us that he was a 1,000-yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, handoff to Dallas. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot.
And they're going to get the timeout called. What a finish. We're down to four seconds to go in this football game. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. Two for two tonight. This will be for the win. And this one is right through. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year. And, you know, all eyes were watching this one. Everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right. But I love the buildup to it, right? All all day long anticipating it and then we got here and we saw a game the first game of the year let's keep going so for the Seahawks they start the season with a great win on the road here in the Thursday opener and now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Buffalo Bills meanwhile for the Cowboys they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears.